Uh, it's my turn to watch Will again today. And yeah, one of the things I try to do when I'm watching Will is practice Korean. Because I'm trying to learn Korean while we live here in Korea. <laughs> Anyways, this is, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is, the, uh, this is, this is three or four or five ways that I, uh, practice Korean with Will when I'm watching him. Okay, this is the first way. Uh, I just try to do my homework actually. So right now I'm learning Torok. Mogusu is it Torok? Mogusu it Torok. Kojujang teshin mayonejuru. Okay, well that's the first way. Um, I just do my homework. As long as Will doesn't. But homework, just doing homework. Uh, I watch Korean cartoons with Will. So we're probably gonna watch Pororo. Okay. Let's watch some Korean cartoons. If there's subtitles, it's even more helpful because then you can read as you listen and then if there's some words you want to remember you can pause it and write them down or just repeat them like 50 times and actually i read that watching videos and having subtitles on helps you learn to read faster i don't know if that's true or not it feels like it's true um, but it definitely helps I, I mean it helps with reading and pronunciation or listening at least yeah should we show them the next thing we do uh, the next one is a game on my phone. So it's called Droplets. Drops. And you just you just can play. Yeah, yeah. And then I try to repeat it as well. So some of these I know already, but it's just nice to get the repetition in and just keep uh, keep practicing reading just Repetition, repetition, repetition. Actually, I'm just gonna clean up really quick first. <laughs> you got the cups? Let's go put them in the kitchen. Come on. So the other thing I do is if I'm in the kitchen with Will, doing dishes or something, I have a bunch of words that I write down in my notes, and then when I'm doing a chore or doing dishes, or we're not watching something or something like that, I just pick words and repeat them. Not necessarily to memorizing memorize them, but just to, I guess, memorize the sound of the word. And then hopefully if I do use that word, I'll it will be easier for me to attach meaning to it later, because I'll just know the sound. I don't know what's the word I have right now. Chong yuk chom. Chong yuk chom. Chong yuk chom. I don't think I'm ever gonna use this word, chong yuk chom. Maybe I will, chong yuk chom. But it's it's an unfamiliar word to me. I don't, the sound is weird and I don't really remember the meaning. Chong yuk chom, now I know the meaning because I just saw it, but it's butcher. It means butcher, chong yuk chom. Am I gonna use that word? Probably not. I also have another list of words of like phrases I want to use with my friends. <laughs> so uh, this one is also something I probably won't ever use, maybe even with my friends, but it's pin soriga yoranhe, which means an empty cart makes a lot of noise, which is like obnoxious people. There's a lot of people act like they know everything, but they really don't. I guess that's what I'm saying. They're often loud. So pin soriga. I'm probably like that sometimes. Where's this guy going? How are you going? Huh? Uh. 
So some other words, phrases that I'm trying to learn that I want to use with friends is Tomi onde. It's not helpful. Chashingam <laughs> opso is without confidence, I'm pretty sure. Sute opso, suma opso. I don't remember what that is. Murukuro. <laughs> Murukuro. That one I just as a joke. It means bend the knee. But I probably wouldn't use this with people I don't know. But yeah, this is my friend's phrases that I want to practice. So if you're my friend, get ready. Do you join later? Chamkyon Hajima is like, like, stay out of my business. Like, don't, I mean, I don't know if you would use this, but I would want to use this with my friends. Like, Chamkyon Hajima. Sori Chirujima. Sori Chirujima. I just got a repetition. Sori Chirujima. Don't yell. I guess I'm just expecting to argue with people. Sang Sang Yande. I don't remember what that one is. Solma is like, I'm, so you're telling me, or you're not telling me. Beginning of sentence phrases are so good. They're so useful. Did you poop? Did you poop? Don't say so. I forgot there's one other really important way that I practice Korean. I guess not when I'm watching Will, but it's just practicing talking with other people. So either get a tutor, get an online class, or have a girlfriend or boyfriend, or go out and drink with some people, or play a game. Just hang out with some people that are willing to speak Korean with you so that you can practice actually speaking. It's very important. Thankfully, Cohen speaks Korean so I can practice with her. Even people that speak a language are still learning and there's a lot of words they don't know. So don't feel, everyone's just pretending they know more than they do. <laughs> so everyone's filling in words, guessing, even in English, sometimes people use words that I don't know. So I just be like, what does that word mean? We just changed because I had to go to my class in two minutes. But uh, just one other tip that I forgot, we start reading kids books. Those are so useful. I told you earlier I was watching a Korean, a cartoon in Korean, which is also helpful. But reading kids' books is also so helpful because it's in, written in such basic language. So there's a lot of grammar, structure, and it really just helps you to be able to start communicating. Because if you can talk like a kid, actually that's huge already. You know, it's not an, like speaking like an adult, but at least people will understand you. So it gives you a lot of those tools and grammar structures and simple words to help you to be able to start forming really small, simple sentences. And it, it come, and reading a book is important because it's a story and it helps you remember it better. That's it. Okay, come back to that other section where I was. But anyways, that's it. That's it. That's the end of this book. That's the end of this book. That's the end of this book. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you excited? That's the end of this book. That's the end of this book. That's how uh, I practice learning Korean. I think it can be applied to any language you're learning. All right, that's really the end now. That's actually the end. Good luck, you can do it. I believe in you. If you're learning a language, you can do it. Please subscribe. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Well.